Hello everyone. Today I'm recording a little bit not usual video. Uh, I'm upgraded my second Sony 555 with polymer capacitors. It currently sounds the same good as my golden Sony 555. And there is a couple results I'd like to share with you. Uh, the changes, so sound become very precise and I told you before that uh, when I replace it uh, capacitors on my golden Sony with polymer, uh, I felt that Dolby presence is not sensible. Same happened uh, on this deck, and now I like you to demonstrate measurement results, okay? Uh, to make uh, it more visible, and like uh, show my observations and confirmation. So here is the calibration. All right, so we may add a little bit on the rear level. All right. Done. So bias, rear level are good. Next, uh, we are recording. So here is the source, zero decibel. Okay, I'm adjusted to have it full relay zeros on my T100 analyzer. Next, here is a tape. Left channel like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 decibel lower. I can adjust it here just to make sure that we will see recording results properly. Okay, so it's pretty hard to tune. Okay, here we are. It's almost there. Because I will make a screenshot of the charts and we'll embed this into this video. Next. Uh, you see, source, tape, levels good. Uh, here is the face. Let me do bigger level. And let's do like 12 kilogears, for example. And here the 12 kilogears level, minus 10, you may see better that it's in phase. Record is pretty fine. All right, so next, what we will be doing. Uh, first of all, I'm switching to the source, right? And I will be making frequency sweep on a zero decibel level. As soon as it completes, I will make screenshot and embed this into the video, so you may put on pause and check yourself the results. I probably will extend the scale, so we would see it better. Like, uh, okay, there will be one, one square will be one decibel. Okay, let's see there are a little bit a uh, bump, like one decibel bump around 10 kilogears to 16 kilogears. And I see that left right channel is a little bit not even. So let me try to adjust it. We need to add more on the right channel to make them even. I, I don't believe I did it. Alright, let's see. Let's see who gets better. No, it's not. I like to remove the gap. Alright, so we would have our best possible view. I now I believe I overshot a little bit. Uh, Let's see, let's run it one more time and I will make a screenshot. The idea is that I will show you how work properly tuned deck with good capacitors and 
and good Dolby system. For me, it was like uh, first time when I have heard, uh, technically not heard the presence of Dolby system. Now Dex perform like uh, a digital source. You cannot tell where is the digital and where is the analog source. Okay, so we have a nice picture. So you see bump one decibel. It's uh, all Dex have it. It is pretty fine. Okay, now let me make a screenshot. Done. So I will post it uh, in our video and you would be able to see it. Okay, now let me switch to the tape. And now remember those different 0 0.2 decibel. I will try to adjust it right here. So we will have a better representation results. I, technically it's, it's close. I have decibel differences on the bias side. Uh, let's run one more time. So it's pretty fine. I was tuning using TDK MA tape. So bias may be a little bit different on Sony tape. So it's not a problem how that's about. Let's run it one more time and I will do screenshots. So you may see that starting like 11 kilohertz, maybe 12 kilohertz, we start to drop a minus three decibel happens at the level 16 kilohertz. It's pretty cool result for the metal tape. And uh, I would say that it would sound lovely because uh, all range on metal tape has been properly recorded uh, without any issues. All right. Now let me make a, a screenshot so I would be able to embed this into the video. Done. All right. Now. I'll turn off Dolby B and we will do another round. Dolby B doesn't have any significant improvement. Everyone is states so it should improve by 10 decibel on the highs. Technically nothing happens on my mind is even lowers a little bit on the diagram. Maybe one decibel. Let's see together. Uh, because I was looking in the very different scale. Just for the case, I can show you scale, how, how good it is, you see? So, right? You see, there are nothing happens, like it's technically repeats the same chart. So let me make screen short with Dolby B. Right. This is Dolby B, and now I'm switching to Dolby C. And that's where differences start. Uh, Dolby C extends uh, signal on the zero decibel level to 20 kilohertz. It was a really interesting observation considering that we are recording on the zero decibel level. And that's, I truly, I truly believe that's uh, uh, because of uh, capacitors replacement, because before I was able to hear Dolby all the time. And now you see it's seven lineups, uh, left and right channels a little bit better. And you see it goes on the level plus one and a half decibel on the 16 kilohertz, 18 and 20, and then starts drop after 20 kilohertz. And it's still zero level at 20 kilohertz. Let me make a screenshot for you. So you would be able to learn it later. And now I'm switching to the Dolby S and Dolby S technically does the same. So there is no big difference between the results. Uh, however, when you listen carefully, uh, you may mention a small difference uh, in the uh, details for Dolby S. It, it has a little bit more details than Dolby C. And as you may see, it perfectly repeats uh, the results. We're recording the same, like up to two decibel 
uh, increase. And you see after 16 kilogears it normalizes and it technically goes really really close. Okay, let me make another screenshot for you. Done. So what I would like to say, if you will see this line on the zero level, uh, this is something unbelievable. I never saw that with any technology we can record on the cassette tapes a flat response on the zero level like reel to reel does. Specifically, this technology also will remove any hiss uh, from the tape we can hear. Additionally, when I was comparing uh, to digital, I was uh, switching between digital source and recorded tape. I mentioned it that uh, without Dolby, even if we have a very good response from the tape, I don't pay attention to the hiss, uh, but uh, we have a significantly less dynamic range on the low frequencies. So Dolby extends it on the bass drums like uh, very well. And like uh, when I'm listening with Dolby now, um, you cannot tell the difference. It's so close that even like after switching back and forth, sometimes it, it's hard to tell. Uh, and results a little bit better on the golden deck. Uh, this black deck comes like uh, you, you've seen those plus one and a half decibel. Uh, I can hear this more brightness when I switch them back and forth, but when I listen just to a single source, it's, uh, it's pretty fine, pretty cool. You cannot tell the difference. So that's it. So go ahead. That's my final review for the solid propylene capacitors, which technically makes the Sony DeX sound better, perform better than the Dragon decks. The only Dragon deck, uh, it's been on my channel. I have been servicing it like half a year ago, uh, which has those polypropylene capacitors installed and it did sound incredible. So my next goal is to find Dragon deck new, new in box, seal it and replace it with the polypropylene capacitors and get the best results which can be achieved. So thank you for your attention. Uh, I believe it was an interesting video for you. Uh, a little bit more technical this time and uh, not entertaining, but for technical folks like me, it would be a pretty interesting discovery. I know that Dolby should work fine, but I never met the DAX uh, until recent moments uh, when I cannot feel presence of the system. It's always, even like Nakamichi DR1 or it was uh, Nakamichi Dragon, I was able to hear those uh, breathing effects when like we can hear like uh, when Dolby circuit closes on the heights. Like, and it was not a very pleasant experience uh, with these upgrades. Believe me, it, it's something. Okay, so my next goal is like I, I considering if I would like to recap Sony 965 with these capacitors, because like uh, after all, I've got really cool results with this deck. Uh, it plays really really well, but uh, its recording capabilities are not at the level I'd like it to be. So I will think more about it. <laughs> Um, so that would be it for today. Uh, thank you for your time. Enjoy your weekend. And I hope you like my channel. You will subscribe to see and watch much more interesting technical stories on my channel. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your attention. Give me a thumb up and I see you in my next videos. Bye bye. Hey guys, and this will be your addition. I decided to check uh, with the uh, type 1 tape so i'm installed to dkd90 here is the calibration results you may see it's spot on uh, here is the recording results on minus 20 decibel level it's nice now i'm switching to the zero decibel 
And as you may see, without Dolby, we have a slope like 12 decibel. Let me zoom in here. So irregularity about 2 decibels over the whole region. And starting 12 kilogears, we get a slope. And minus 3 decibel happens around 14 kilogears. Okay. Now, uh, let me turn on Dolby B. You see, technically nothing changes. And Dolby C. And it's pop-ups for a couple decibel. So now minus 3 level goes to 16 kilogears. And Dolby S. It's technically the same. So, as you may see, even if it will remove noise, Dolby C and Dolby S wouldn't be able to do the same results as with metal tape. But it's still big improvement. I still listen and enjoy it because sounds is, is, is very good. Sound good and like uh, tape sounds really, really well. Let me make screenshots for you so you can learn yourself. So here is uh, no Dolby results. Okay. Next one would be Dolby C. Fine. And next one would be Dolby S. Fine. And just for the case, I will do just a single frequency sweep with Dolby S to make sure that uh, we would see a detailed picture and I will post a single screenshot for you here as well. It still sounds really, really cool. Like uh, you would not be able to tell that the sound is bad or whenever it's happening. As you may see, it's about plus one decibel currently shows. Uh, so probably just my tuning was not precise or it's will be just increased level a little bit. And here we go, five, eight, ten, and then it drops. And it's Dolby S, you see? And minus three decibel, technically it's around 12 kilohertz. I cannot say that I like the feature much. Anyway, I'm making screenshot for you. And Dolby C. Let's see if there are any difference with Dolby C. It's a little bit more linear in the low frequencies. Better on the highs, more precise. And again, at zero decibel level, you cannot expect much more. I still really good results because you know that all music is recorded with minus six decibel slope per octave. Octave is like a step, it's like between. 100 gears and 1 kilogears between 10 kilogears and 20 kilogears. So that's where like we still have some some room and like music still would sound pretty pretty nice. Thanks for your attention. See you in my next adventures. Bye bye.